Researchers at Harvard say it's too early, in their opinion, to open up the economy. They did a study, and they say the amount of testing needs to go way up. Now, they are warning that to safely open up, the country would need to be able to test up to half a million people every day. Right now, we're testing about 150,000 a day. When you look at the individual states, the study says only Rhode Island has enough testing to reopen because of their smaller population. And Scott, based on that model, North Carolina would need to have enough for nearly 16,000 tests every day. Right now, the state is conducting two to 3,000 tests. At, at the point we're at now, the stay-at-home order is set to expire in nine days. Of course, that could be extended. Our Joe Bruno is joining us live tonight. And Joe, you got an update, though, from Mecklenburg County about cases here and whether or not that might be extended. Well, Scott, the health director says that Mecklenburg County is still experiencing significant testing shortages as well as shortages of PPE, and that makes it really difficult to imagine that Mecklenburg County's stay-at-home order will be lifted in nine days. Here's where things currently stand at in the county. We're sitting at around 1,200 cases. 31 people have died to date. We just found out since March 11th, the county has administered more than 19,000 tests, including nearly 300 at new sites launched by Atrium and Novant. State and federal talks about a reopening timeline have centered around more widespread testing and better contact tracing. Mecklenburg County's health director says the county is still struggling in this regard. We still have lots of individuals in our community who are at risk, who do not have immunity, um, antibodies to this to this infection and eventually will probably be infected. Last week, the county manager and county attorney got into a slight disagreement over whether Mecklenburg County can extend the stay at home order if all the towns are not on board. I asked the county manager if she has any clarity on that tonight, but she says she doesn't. She's hoping to have an answer by tomorrow. Back to you. Yeah, one of those many, many questions about uh, what we can do and when we can do it. Joe, thanks very much.